everybody welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing some spring decorating in my coffee bar area for all of you who have been here before I'm going to show you this setup in a minute but I've been using this antique silver tray that has like little feet on it to hold everything but I decided it was time to give it a little bit of a makeover and a few additional little spring touches and I'm still waiting on a few things for the kitchen um, that I've ordered so I'll do a full kitchen kind of spring tour as soon as I get the rest of the elements in. But I do have everything for the coffee bar, so I figured I would show you right now. So those of you who are new, my name is Tina. I do everything lifestyle, home, home decor, fashion, all the kind of girly things that most of us women love. So if those are the kind of things that interest you, I would invite you to subscribe to my channel. We have a lot of fun over here. We had one great giveaway and we're gonna be doing another one as soon as I hit a few more subscribers. So you'll wanna get in on that. And if you're here from in my Instagram, then please say hello so I can give you a shout out in my next video. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and also the Like to Know What app, especially for sales and things. I post a lot of things over there when I find them on sale. Um, so that's the end of my spiel for today. Let's get to decorating. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you my coffee bar as it is, and then we're going to make some changes. So let's take a look. Hey guys, so this is it right now. So we have my lamp. We have my um, clear container that holds my coffee pods. We have another little um, copper that holds my tea bags, one that's holding a plant. And as much as I like it and it's cute and everything, to me it just, it was time for a refresh. So now we're going to get to decorating it and redo it. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is just remove the tray. And then we're just going to clean out the area. So we're just going to move this. Let's get that out of the way. And we are going to leave the lamp there so that is staying. It's amazing what you find when you move stuff out of the way to clean it. Okay, so I'm just going to use a little bit of cleaner. This is the basket that I'm going to be using and this is a basket that I got at a consignment store a long time ago but I figured I would use it in this space just like that so we're gonna leave that there then we are going to add my coffee pods to it but I did find these coffee pods at TJ Maxx, they're the Sunset Blend, so I figured I would give them a try because I was running a little bit low on coffee. So I'm just gonna fill up, put a few more in here. And I don't know about you guys, but I try to keep these like all in order, but they always seem to get messed up anyway. So we'll just kind of toss them in. And then I just like to kind of leave them up so we know which flavor it is on top. There we go. And we will put this in our basket. And the next thing is I found this also at Home Goods, TJ Maxx Home Goods, and I just thought it was so pretty. It has like um, the little uh, flowers on it that remind me of spring. So I thought, and this beautiful wooden top, so I thought this would be perfect for my tea bags. So we are going to pop some tea bags in there. And we have different kinds. We have ones that are, like if you have a sore throat, I have a few that are flavored. This one's Cranberry Harvest. So I'll put some of those in there. And then my nighttime tea bags that I have more often than not are the Pure Chamomile. Um, the tw twinnings. So those are the ones I usually have at night. I think I'm running a little bit low on those. I'm going to have to restock those. 
cut. So we'll just throw these in there. And tea bags on their own sometimes, especially if they're, they just look so pretty. So we're just gonna throw those in there and put the top on. And there you go. We're gonna add that in there. Just to the back a little. The next thing we're gonna add, so these two, which I do need to refill. Um, so this one's collagen peptides and this one is cinnamon. And I got these little decanters on Amazon and I will link them down below. But I just keep um, anything I like to sprinkle in my coffee or on my coffee in these. So we're gonna keep those right there. Just like that. And then also from TJ Maxx, I found so many things at TJ Maxx. So I found this really cute plant. It was only $7.99. It came in a nice little white vase. So I thought I would add this in there as well because I like to put something in to hide the cords because I don't like the cord showing. So I pretty much should use something to stick that on to make it come up a little bit higher. But I don't think I have anything at the moment. Okay, so I found this little white bowl that I had. So I figure if I just turn it upside down, I could kind of use it as a stand and just pop it right on there. Just so that the cords are, are covered a little bit. I mean, you're still gonna see them a little bit and there's not really much I can do about that. Like so. And then I did also get, um, I don't know where it is, oh. So I also got a candle also. This one I got from Walmart and it is coconut sands. And it kind of has that beachy smell to it. So I figured I would put this in here as well, just because it's pretty. I'm not gonna light it in here because of the plant, but when I light it, I will just move it right over here to the side. So I'm just gonna put that in there with the lid on it for now. And then I also got one final thing to put in there. From Better Homes and Gardens, they had these really pretty matches and they come in this glass container and it has the wooden top. So I thought I would add that in there as well. And there we go. So this is how my coffee bar looks right now. Let me take the candle out. So you can see it looks so much prettier, a little less cluttered, definitely more of a farmhouse vibe to it. And with very simple things that were very affordable. And I think the basket itself was only like, I don't know, three or four dollars. So I didn't spend a whole lot just to change the look of my area. So I am going to just light the candle for you. And I have my wire, uh, my wick cutter so I can cut it down lower. So for right now, we're just going to light it with a lighter. Okay guys, so that's it. We rearranged my coffee bar for spring. Very simple with things I found at TJ Maxx and Walmart. So very easy, very affordable, and a quick way to make a quick change that I'm going to love for a couple few months to come before we change it around for summer. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below because we'll have another giveaway coming pretty soon and you wanna make sure that you're subscribed for that. And I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you back here on Thursday for another Decorate With Me for Spring. Bye, guys.